All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Uh, today, I'm going to start taking a look at a game called Mo Mania. This is actually a really special game for me. This is one of the very first video games that I had. Uh, I had this on the Game Boy. I had this on the Game Boy back in the day, and then they made a remake of it, and then it's on the uh, Nintendo 3DS. I have it there, too. I play this game from time to time. Uh, what's special about this playthrough is I'm not going to play the entire game. I'm only going to play... Maybe the first few worlds. How about that? How about we just do the first few worlds? I don't know if you can tell this or not, but this is going to be a puzzle game. <laughs> I do a lot of puzzles and strategy type things on the channel. This one's a puzzle game. Uh, let's let's hop into the story and then I'll give you a little insight on this one. Oh, new game. Let's new game. Let's play some new game. Your wife and kids are mine. If you want them back, come visit me in Jinbi Land. I'll be waiting. All right. So we're going to do level one. Level one is the tutorial level. so that you understand the mechanics of the game. Now, you might, you might say, hey, chill, why are you playing this? You're already doing a strategy-type game or a puzzle-type game on the channel already. Let me read the sign real quick. Hey, Furball, my seven lackeys have your family. Come and get them if you can. I'll be waiting. That's Jinbi. Like I said, you might be, you might say, chill, why are you playing this game on the channel? You are doing, well, let's see. Like, uh, okay. So my girlfriend's a friend, Ariel, her children watch the channel. But I've been cursing a lot on the channel. So I said, let's play something that's not so, not so frustrating. And not so cursy. So this one's for you, Ariel. This one's <laughs> this one's PG. Okay, I, I'm gonna keep hitting the wrong button, and I don't care. Uh, uh, I am a mole. I am. I think his name is Monty Mole. Not entirely sure. I might be mixing it up with the Super Mario character. Uh, I am a mole. I can dig holes. So there's two different areas that I can exist in. There is. This above ground area, the overworld, and then there's the underworld once I dig through the ground. Now what's interesting is that there's some areas that I can't dig through. For example, tiles that look like this one down here at the bottom of the screen. I can't dig through that. That's what happens if I try to dig through that. I, I hurt my head. I hurt my head. Naturally, when I'm underground, I can dig through anywhere that's not blocked off. And if I want to, if I need to, I can peek above ground without digging another hole. So I can see where I am above or, or under the overworld. I hope that's not too confusing. I hope that's not too confusing for you guys. Okay, let's read this sign. Dig like a maniac. It's basically just saying the exact same thing that I said. And we're getting a hint from Old Man Mole. I'm making the names up, by the way. I don't know what his actual name is, and I really don't care. <laughs> he'll be okay if his name is an old man mole he'll be all right so at the bottom right corner of the screen uh you can see my health you can see my my current health if i were to take damage obviously i would lose part of that heart and this would fill me back up there we go same thing from old man mole i'm one step ahead of old man mole now i don't have to dig everywhere possible Underground. I don't have to. I just need to figure out how to get to the exit. Sometimes. Sometimes, though, I just like getting every possible space. This is the exit. This lets me go to the next area, the next room. All right, so this is something I realized the other day. Not every single space of this section is blocked off. Like, it's, it's much smaller squares and then much bigger ones. I don't have to dig through the whole thing. So what I could do if I wanted to... I can peek above, and I can see that I can come out to the right here. So I'll go back above ground, and then I'll dig once more. 
And I think it's right here. Yeah. So I can come back above ground here. And I can dig under. And I can come out here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we're getting to the interesting part of the game. Okay, so I'm 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 more than just a mere mole. I can also push and pull boulders. If I want to push it, I just walk into it. If I want to pull it, I hold B and bring it backwards. Now, what's cool about these big boulders is if I drop it down this hole, it'll disappear, but then it'll come back up where it started. So I can use that as a way to get by. Whoops. I thought I was going to fall through the hole. I can push the mole to the right here, and I can go up here. Now I, now I am free. Now what's cool about this boulder is that if I push it, it's still blocking my way. I can't get through. And then I can't pull it so that I can get through. Actually, I can. I can pull it this way. But there's something else I can do with this boulder other than push and pull. What I can do is I can throw this boulder all the way across. Check it out. I just hold B. I get super strong. And then I throw the boulder. Let's let's do that together. I press B. I get super strong. And then I throw the boulder. Ain't nothing stopping me. Ain't nothing stopping me. Here we go. All right. So now there's enemies. Once again, if I push a boulder over a hole, it disappears and reappears where it once was. So I can use that to get by. I can do it again here. Now, if I can throw boulders... If I could throw these boulders at the enemies, they disappear. They turn into little stars. <laughs> I could also use the boulder to trap enemies in areas, so I don't have to. I don't have to throw it at them. I can be nice. I can let them live if I really wanted to. Let's let them live. Let's let them live today. All right. So now we got to get a little bit more crafty. This one we don't have a choice. We have to take him out, and then the boulder will go in the hole and reappear over there. Same thing here. Now, if I'm not careful, if I take too long, he'll bump into me with the boulder and he'll stun me for just a second. But he'll also be stunned. And now I can also throw boulders back. Actually, I think I did it backwards already. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Bam. Taking him out. Taking him out clean. Let's check to make sure. If you notice in the last screen, we didn't have to go underground for anything. Let's check to make sure there's nothing underground here. Nope. There are zero things underground. All right, so this square here that I'm pushing up against is a is a blockade that needs to be broken down. How do I break it down? With boulders. Thanks, old man Mo. All right, so I can either push it into I can I can throw it into the the boulder or I can just push it very lightly. Doesn't matter. It's not picky. It's not picky. All right, so let's see if I can take out these boys. I want to do it in a cool way, though. I want to take them both out with the same throw. Let's time it perfectly. Ah! Ah, I missed them. I'm a clown. I'm a clown. Am I in the way? Yes, I'm going to get hit. There we go. All right, and the same thing goes with this boulder. Once, I fin once I've gotten rid of every blockade, I do a little dance. All right. Anything underground here? No, there's nothing hidden underground here. Let's move on. Hey, look, it's Old Man Mole. If I were damaged and I were to talk to Old Man Mole, he would heal me. He would also give me a hint. Let's see. Are my signs helping you at all? I'll recover hearts for you, so just relax. Old Man Mole. Old Man Mole. All right. So this, oops, oops, this isn't going to be fun. Let's, let's go back here. This level introduces a cool mechanic, a somewhat cool mechanic. I think it's cool. Cabbage. I don't know if this is true or not, but we're going to roll around like it is. I think moles enjoy cabbage. If we put cabbage in a hole, we earn a, a cabbage point. I, I, is there a way I can see the cabbage point? Yes. Okay, so if you look in the middle here, above exit. No, uh, we have one cabbage point. There's a certain amount of cabbage hidden in each level. And our goal is to find all the cabbages. I think we get, we get, uh, to get 100% in a playthrough, I think you have to find all of the cabbage. You have to find all the cabbage throughout the game. 
We ain't doing we ain't doing a hundred percent playthrough. It's actually really hard. But I can also use the cabbages just like boulders. I use them in the same manner as boulders. I think I can Yeah, I can get rid of the enemies, but I know I can't get rid of this this blockade with it. Nah. Nah, cabbage ain't that strong. Cabbage ain't that strong, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so once I put in the fifth cabbage, I'll get a heart. I'll get a part of a heart, so if I take damage, I'll heal. That's another reason to look for cabbage. Every five, every five cabbage will give you part of a heart. Let's move this boulder across this this hole. Remember, boulders will fall in the holes if you if you let them pass over. This here is a map. If I go to the map and my items, once I pick it up, I can see the entire world, how this level is set up. So this is how level one is set up. All the white squares are squares that I've been to already, been to and cleared. The gray squares are squares that we haven't finished yet. We haven't even been there yet. And then the blinking square is currently where I am. This is where we started the level. That's what it... Oh, it's a map. Uh, you can... Let's see. You can only use it in that level. So this map doesn't carry over to the next level. If we want a map for level two, I suppose, then we need level two's map. Throw the boulder! Yeah. All right. So remember, we can take out enemies with the cabbage. Now, I am blocked off. I, there's nowhere for me to go. Let's see if I can go underground. Yes, I can go underground. I can use, I can travel this route. And I'll end up down here at the bottom of the same screen from before. But I want that cabbage. I don't want to have to come back for that cabbage. Let's grab that cabbage. Grab that cabbage, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops, wrong button. All right, let's throw it. Cabbages get thrown just like boulders. All right, so we can come up above here and we can push this into our main man back there. And then we can throw it down the hole. That's what, seven? That's seven cabbages. All right, so let's see. To get this gent, we need to move that cabbage there to block him off. And now we're safe to go to the left of the cabbage. So we can follow this path here, come up here, and Kia. And if we throw this in there, that makes eight cabbages. Is there some reason to go underground here? Yes, there is. This is a radar, I believe it is. Oh, it's a locator. With it, the location of a boss or bonus stage will appear on the map. So there's bosses here, too, as well as bonus stages. Let's take a look. So we see our items. We have the map. We have the locator. Let's take a look. Okay, so now our map is a little bit different. The star on our map represents the bonus stage, and the B on the map represents the boss. In order to get a 100% in the game, you have to beat both the boss and the bonus stages. I think I'm actually not going to do the bonus stage because it's, it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard. It's a hard bonus stage. Like, it, it's, it's kind of unfair. It's kind of unfair. It's not, it's not super difficult. It's just a little, it's a little wonky. It's a little wonky. All right. So this cabbage would make number nine. This is cabbage number nine, ladies and gentlemen. Let's dig a hole right there and then we can throw it in. And now we can use this hole to get on the other side of our boulder. Let's see. Shoot, I should have I should have planted this out a little bit better. If I would have brought the hole over here, then I could have moved the boulder closer so I can time this out a little bit better. But it's it's okay. We'll be okay. Let's do this. Bam. Got him. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Now what I can do to get this cabbage, I can throw it down to the the tree stump and then go around. And I can launch it this way. Yeah, that's 10. That's 10. I'm going to leave that heart there in case I need it. I don't need it right now. Okay, so let's see. Let's be a little, a little bit more clever. We're going to bring it to the hole. That's as far as we can go with it without losing it. And bam, catch him. And now let's see. We're gonna bring it back down to the bottom of the screen, bring it up one, and then bam. Now let's see, can I get those four cabbages in the middle? I sure can, I sure can. This is a potion. If I were to ever take damage and I wanted to heal right away, I could use the potion. They call it recovery. It's a potion, it's a potion. Okay, let's come up here. 
Now what I can do is I can push, pull this one here, pull this one here, bring it back, and then bam. And then I can do this. Oh, that was 11. This is 12. Oops. This is 12. And now we can move this one here, down, and throw it just the same. That's 13. And this is 14. Yeah. Making progress. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of this gent. Oh, I see how we can do it. If we instead come out of this hole, we can bring the ball closer and then throw it at the man. We're just gonna have to wait a little bit. It'll be okay. Bam. All right, so now to get rid of that blockade at the top, we need to go underground. Come out right here and bring the ball close and then get ready to throw. Yeah. All right. Let's see, there's two cabbages here. Can we get the two cabbages? Uh, let's see, how would I go about moving this boulder so that I can use it? Oh, I think what I can do is I can go up here. This would be the way to the bonus stage. Like I said, we're not gonna look at the bonus stage. Not today, at least. Not today, at least. Let's push the boulder down. There we go. As you saw, I came back out here. The boulder was still where it's supposed to be. So now we can bring the boulder here. I want to put this in a spot where... Okay, we can throw it at this guy. Now if I... Oh, snap. This is actually hard to do. I can sneak by him. And I can sneak by these two. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can time this one out better. I didn't do so hot last time. I think when he comes back this time, I can throw it. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> I still messed up. It's okay. It'll be fine. Here we go. Bam. And now there is this gentleman down here. Let's throw the boulder at him. Oh, I am bad at this. I'm bad at timing things out. And I took damage. Oh, no. Okay, so how many cabbages do we have already? There's 14 cabbages that we have, and there's three here. I think I said there's two, but there's actually three. There's this one, the one to this right here, and the one at the top right corner. All right, so if I push this in the hole, this will be 15. Every five cabbages, we heal. Bam. That makes 16, and now we bring this one down. All right. There we go. And now we can take this boulder and push it at the blockade. Yeah. All right. So let's see if we can get through this room. This one's actually really dangerous. And as we've seen, I'm bad at timing things. Mm -mm. Let me get rid of this enemy here. And then we can throw this ball at this guy. Bam. All right, so there's two blockades here. Here's the first one. And then we can throw this boulder at this junk. Got him. Yeah. Now, there's two cabbages here. And there's 17 that we already have. That would make 19 cabbages. I think there's a total of 20 cabbages, so there's one that we missed. I wonder, I wonder if you saw the cabbages, or the cabbage that I missed. I wonder if you saw it. I think I know where it was. Okay, so this room is the last regular room. The room above here, if we take a look at our map, leads to the boss. It leads to the boss. We'll have to do a boss battle. We'll have to prove that we, we understand all the mechanics that we've learned so far. It's not too difficult. It's not too difficult at all. Alright, so this kangaroo is our boss. We have to defeat this boss. Let's see, there's no boulders for us to throw at him, but we do have these huge thumbtacks. And kangaroos do enjoy jumping. So if we put the thumbtack under the kangaroo, it'll damage him. He will be hurt and he will flop around like the biggest clown. 
In the meantime, we just gotta dodge the apples he's throwing. Alright, so now he's gonna get to jumping. Kangaroos do like to jump. And what we can do is we can bring this thumbtack right under him once more. He's gonna flop around like the biggest clown. Alright, he's gonna throw a little bit faster now. I gotta be on my I gotta be on my toes here. Alright. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. Alright, let's move this. And that makes three. The kangaroo. Is toast. And look at that. Look at that big old cabbage. Hey, it's one of my children. It's one of Monty Mole's children. Uh oh. All right. So let's see. We got 10 points for the map. We got 10 points for the locator. We didn't do the bonus stage, so we didn't get any points there. And for each cabbage, we get a point. I'm sorry, we get two points. So we got 19 cabbages. That would be 38 points. And then we explored... What is that? We explored 15 places on the map. And we got 18 points. That brings us to a total of 76 points. I wonder, I wonder where that last cabbage was. <laughs>